Thomas and Friends, making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them, because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, please welcome your host, Kermit the Frog. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest stars, Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends. Yay! Music! Okay, come on guys, this way, this way, this way. Come on up, quick, 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 quick. Start the music! It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets and Thomas and Friends tonight. It's time to make a scenery. Let's hope we get it right. It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, this week's Thomas and Friends sensational. This is what we call the Muppet Show! This is gonna go viral, Kermit! Whoop whoop! Whoop! Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to The Muppet Show. We have a great show for you tonight, folks, because our very special guest stars is that popular talking train from that popular kid show, Thomas the Tank Engine and all his friends. But first, I think I owe you an explanation. The reason why we're not at the Muppet Theater is because, well... There weren't any railway tracks for Thomas and his friends to be on, so we had to bring the Muppet Show here to the island of Sodor. And unfortunately, Nafford Station was the only place available to do the show. And not only are Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends the guest stars, so is the controller of the railway, Sir Topham Bertram Hatt. So first, to get things started, uh, Kermit, Chief, Boss, uh, Scooter, do you mind? I'm in the middle of doing something. Uh, yes, I understand that, Kermit, but I have to tell you something. Well, what is it? Well, Sir Totten Hat, the controller of the railway, told me that since he had to stop all trains because of the show, he had to cancel all of them till tomorrow. So he says that we're going to have to mix the show up a few, a little, a little. Mix it up? Yep. 
That means we can't do Muppet History, Muppet Labs Learning. We're still gonna... And we can't even do stunts with Gonzo. Well, what acts can we do? The only acts we can do is... The Veterinarian's Hospital. Fozzie's Jokes and, uh... Yeah, those are the only acts we can do. Those are the only acts we can do? Yep. Aw, oh, Scooter, why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, Sir Top Hat just told me that right now. Oh, well that makes sense. So, that's the only acts we can do? Yep, only two acts. So... No Muppet Labs learning, and no Muppet history, and no Gonzo stunts? Nope. That's what Jake to also told me. Okay, well... What the H? What the H-E-Y? Well... Thanks for telling me, Scooter. Anytime, Chief. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, folks. It seems like we can't do Muppet History, Muppet Labs Learning, or Gonzo Stunts. But don't worry, I promise it will be a great show for you folks. And speaking of, let's get this show started with an old classic Muppet Show song. So, ladies and gentlemen, Madonna! Thomas and Friends and the Muppets. That's new and exciting. No, it's not exciting and new. It's old and not exciting. <laughs> okay, Thomas and the Steam Team on stage for the engine roll call number. Oh, uh, excuse me, Kermit. Oh, hey, it's a top hat, the controller of the railway. Please call me Sir Kermit. My apologies, Sir Topham. That's okay. Anyway. Um, when is my song number coming up? 
Uh, it's right after Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem song. Can you picture that? And they're going to be singing your song. Okay. I just want to let you know. And don't worry, Sir Topham. I'm, I'm sure there won't be... I promise there, will no, there won't be any confusion or delay on The Muppet Show. That's good to hear, Kermit. Anyway, am I in the Steam Team song number? Uh, nope. I don't, I don't believe you are, Sir Topham. Okay. Well, I'll see you in my number. Okay, thanks, Sir Topham. Well, he was pretty nice. Yeah, Sir Topham Hat can be, can be stern and strict sometimes, but he is the control of the railway. He is in charge. Hear me. We're ready for the engine roll call number. Well, that's great, Piggy. Golly, Uncle Kermit, I can't believe we're on the magical island of Sodor, seeing Thomas and all his friends. I've been wanting to come to the island of Sodor ever since I watched the TV show Thomas and Friends. Is it a dream come true to you, Robin? It sure is, Uncle Kermit. Hey, where's Sweetums? He's supposed to be in this number, too. Sorry, Kermit. I'm coming. Sorry. I had to take a trip to the... To the... To the where, Sweetums? Oh, okay. Well, everyone on stage after I introduce the engine roll call number. Okay, Kermy. Oh, boy. I hope I get the words to the engine roll call number right. I'm sure you will, Fozzie. Just take a deep breath and... You'll be fine. <sighs> Thanks, Walter. Anytime, Fozzie. Ta-da! And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce our guest stars, Thomas the Tank Engine, and all his friends from the Steam Team, James, Percy, Gordon, Emily, Henry, Edward, and Toby. But I just want to let you know that we'll be singing both versions of the Engine Roll Call song, Series 10 and... Series 20. Feel free if we sing along, Frog. Yeah. We love that song. Because it's all... Duh! <laughs> Statler, Waldorf. Sorry, Jake. Yeah, we were just joking. Duh! Yeah, of course, Statler and Waldorf, you can sing along. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas and the Steam Team! Yeah! They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play, round tidmouth sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the beds, Thomas and his friends. Thomas is the cheeky one, James is made but lots of fun. Percy paws the mail on time, Gordon thunders down the line. Emily really knows her stuff, Henry toots and huffs and puffs. Edward wants to help and share. Toby! Well, let's say he's square. They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play. Round in the sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the beds. Thomas and his friends. They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Shut dig trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. 
all with different roles to play round Tidmouth sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the beds, Thomas and his friends. There are two, there are four, there are six, there are eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play. Round Tidmouth sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the bends. Thomas and his friends. Thomas is the cheeky one. James is ain't but lots of fun. Percy piles the mail on time. Gordon thunders down the line. Emily really knows her stuff. Henry toots and hops and puffs. Edward wants to help and share. Toby, well, let's say he's square. There two, there four, there six, there eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play. Run Tidmouth sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the beds, Thomas and his friends. There are two, there are four, there are six, there are eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play. Round Tidmouth sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the beds, Thomas and his friends. I can't believe we sang along to Engine Roll Call. Engine Roll Call? How about Military Roll Call? Duh! <laughs> All right, very great steam team. Now Thomas, James, Percy, Gordon, and Emily. Tidmouth Sheds for the Play With Me Sesame Street number. Okay, so far, so good. No confusion or delay. I am very good to hear that, Mr. Kermit. Oh, please, Sir Tobin, please, sir. Call me Kermit. All right. Except that Statler and Waldorf are causing confusion and delay because they're making fun of the show. Hey, we heard that. Yeah. We're not D-E-A-F, you know. Statler, Waldorf, this is my railway. And this is the fat controller you're talking to. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Ugh, good grief. And what the H-E-Y. Hey, is for horses, Kermit. I know, it's just what I always say. Okay, well, even though hay is for horses, I don't think you should be saying that. Because there are kids watching. I always say it when kids are watching. Sir. Oh. Well, I'll see you in my number. See you, Sir Topham. Yeah. When we say play with me, you say sesame. Play with me. Play with me. Play with me. Now let's do it louder. Okay. When we say play with me, you say sesame. Play with me. Play with me. Play with me. Yeah, very good. Awesome. Super. Let's do it again. Okay. My game. My game too. Music, please. When we say play with me, you say sesame. Play with me. 
Play with me! Now let's do it louder. Okay, Gordon. When we say play with me, you say sesame! Play with me! Play with me! Play with me! Yay! Huh. I've never heard my engine sing that song before. That's because Jake added it to this episode. Sir Topham, sir. Oh. And I've decided, Kermit, you can call me anything you want. But I was told by Edward we're supposed to call you sir. Well, you can call me anything. You can call me Sir Topham Hat. You can call me sir. However you're comfortable with. Oh, thank you, sir. Anyway, what's up? What's up next? Mm, I don't know. Uh, Scooter, can you come here for a second? Coming, Chief. What's up, Chief? Do you need me? Uh, yes. I just want to want to ask, uh, what's up next? Oh, uh, the next thing up is uh, the island of Sodor song. You mean the island song? Yep, the island song, or is, it's also called the island of Sodor song. I mean, we are on the island of Sodor, Chief. I can see that, Kerm. I mean, Scooter. <laughs> I almost called you Kermit. <laughs> Good one, Chief. All right, everyone on stage. I mean, on track for the island song. Oh, hey, look, it's Thomas. Uh, excuse me, Kermit. Uh, my coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, wanted to say hi to you. Hi, Kermit. It's so nice to meet you, Kermit. Uh, you too. It's nice to meet you too, Annie and Clarabelle, but you should be on stage. Told you, Annie and Clarabelle. Told them what, Thomas? Well, they won. Annie and Clarabelle wanted to say hi to Tom. To Kermit, but I told him quick hello, hello, and then we have to get on stage. So I had to do it. They told. I'm so sorry, sir. Sorry, Scooter and Kermit. It's okay, Thomas. Saying hi, you can't get in trouble by saying hi. Come on, Annie and Clarabelle. We better get on stage. We don't want confusion and delay on the Muppet Show. Okay, Thomas. Bye, Kermit. Bye, Kermit. Hey, that's Moi's line. Be careful, Clarabelle. Sorry. But wait. Isn't Thomas going to find a turntable and... Yes, Scooter. Yes, he will. Uh, Sir Topham, I wasn't finished. Oh, sorry. So who's going to introduce the island song, Kermit? You? Or Robin? Well, Robin's going to introduce the Thomas, you're the leader number. So I'm going to introduce the island song. Or me and Sir Topham Hat could, both... Oh, uh, no thank you, Kermit, but thanks for the offer. Okay, suit yourself, Sir Topham. What's up after the island song, Scooter? Uh, after that is a little bit of a veterinarian's hospital, but due to budget cuts, Jake couldn't make the nurse and doctor costumes. And who's gonna be the patient for veterinarian's hospital? Gordon. Oh, Gordon's not going to like that. Well, you better go tell him after this number. I know what he's going to say. He's going to say, oh, the indignity. That's my line. Sorry, Gordon. Oh, the indignity. What does that mean? Uh, I don't, I have no clue. Ah. Okay, everyone on stage for the island song, M Calling All Muppets. 
Island Song! Island Song! Dun, dun, dun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's an old classic Thomas and Friends song that you might recognize from the model live action original TV show. An old classic from the 1990s years, the Island of Sodor song. Picture a land where the sky is so blue, a storybook land of wonder, a magical island just waiting for you. Island of Sodor, we'll make your dreams come true. Imagine a place where the sun always smiles. Valleys are green as can be. The friends that you love are all waiting for you. Island of Sodor will make your dreams come true. Children, follow the dream. You are land of May. The island of Sodor, magical land where dreams come true. Follow the road that leads to your dream over the hills and mountains. Look for the skies, with stars in their eyes. Island of Sodor will make your dreams come true. Children, follow the dream. To a land of make-believe. The island of Sodor, magical land where dreams come true. The Island of Sodor, magical land where dreams come true. I can't believe we listened to the island song. That song is way older than us. Duh! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Why are we making fun of ourselves? I don't know, but we shouldn't. And now, Veterinarian's Hospital. The both waiting and continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Dr. Bob, why are we not in our hospital outfits? Because due to budget cuts, they're in the wash being washed. But shouldn't we be wearing a, a gown? Yeah. We should be wearing graduation gowns. Oh, <laughs> oh Forrester. Here's our patient, Dr. Bob. A blue number four tender engine named Gordon. Uh, excuse me? What's wrong with him, Nurse Janice? Oh, I don't know, Dr. Bob. He seems to be in a bad mood. He's a little crabby. Crabby? More like Gordy. Get it, Gordy? Like crabby? Oh! <laughs>
Dr. Bob, should we give Gordon a transfusion? No, that will never do. Then what we'll do, Dr. Bob? We should give him a train fusion. <laughs> oh, for sure. Ugh, and I thought Thomas was cheeky. And now I'm stuck with a cheeky dog, a pig, and a... a human being. Um, excuse moi, Gordon, but I am not cheeky. Oh, sorry, Miss Piggy. Thomas and Kermit warned me about... you. Gordon, you're supposed to call her Nurse Piggy, not Miss Piggy. Oh, sorry, I've never been on Veterinarian's Hospital. The Express is more important than this. And I can't believe the Express is canceled till tomorrow. Now can I go? No, not till we come to the end, Gordon. And so we've come to the end of another Veterinarian's Hospital. Tune in next week when you'll hear Gordon say... Oh, the indignity. <laughs> oh, for sure. What's wrong with Gordon, sir? Oh, he's just upset that the express was delayed to tomorrow, Thomas. Oh, so that's why he was in a bad mood. <laughs> Gordon? I did not like your attitude on Veterinarian's Hospital. Well, I'm upset that the Express has been cancelled, sir. I know how important the Express is, Gordon. But you need to be on your best behavior when you're on The Muppet Show. Sorry, sir. Now apologize to Kermit. It's his show. I'm sorry, Kermit. I was upset. That's okay, Gordon. I understand. Oh! I better go introduce Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Hey, Scooter. Yes, Thomas? What's up after the Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem number? Can you picture that? Oh, the next number is, a, is her Top and Hat song. Sir Tom Hat song. Oh, that's me. Not, uh, not yet, sir. Oh, thanks for telling me, Thomas. No problem, sir. Dun dun dun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, children of the island of Sodor, please welcome the one and only Doctor T for the Electric Mayhem. Yeah.
Oh, wow. Now it's time to sing Sir Topham Hat song, a.k.a. the Fat Controller. Uh, Janice, you can't call Sir Topham Hat fat. That makes him cross. Oh, wow. Sorry. I've caused confusion and delay. Uh, who's Sir Topham Hat? Have you forgotten? Zoot? Yeah, Sir Topham Hat is the controller of the railway on the island of Sodor. SODOR! SODOR! And oh wow, like here he comes. Sorry for Janice's manners by calling you fat, Sir Totten Hat, sir. No problem at all, Floyd. Oh wow, my apologies for calling you fat, sir. That is okay, Janice. People call me the Fat Controller in the UK. You ready to rock, Sir Topham? I am ready, and I ever will be, Dr. Teeth. You know I once was a great singer for a Relight My Firebox. Uh, let's just start singing. Right, and a one, two, three, four. And remember all you kids out there, don't call your friends or people fat. It can hurt their feelings and you can't get in trouble. Don't call your friends or other people fat. Oh yeah! Ooh. He's big, he's big, and he's back, he's back. A goes by the name of Sir Top of Hat. No one, no one can deny, can deny, but on him you can rely, so sing along. With Sir Top of Hat song, with Sir Top of Hat song, so sing along, so oh, sing along, with Sir Top of Hat song. Now listen up, listen up, it's a fact, a fact. That he's in charge, and that is that sharp, sharp, sharp suit, sharp suit, a pip, pip, toot, toot, toot. So sing along, so sing along with Sir Top of Hat song, with Sir Top of Hat song. So sing along, so sing along with Sir Top of Hat song, with Sir Top of Hat song. Thomas Percy, Henry and Gordon, Edward, Toby, Emmeline, James, and Jane Team, and Jane Hall, and Sir Topham Hat. Well, he loves them all. Be useful. Take care. He'll be firm, but he'll be fair. He's the man. He's the man in charge. In charge with a heart that's so so large. So sing along. Mr. Topham Hat song, Mr. Topham Hat song, so sing along. Mr. Topham Hat song, so sing along. Mr. Topham Hat song, so sing along. Mr. Topham Hat song, Mr. Topham Hat song, do. Do, do, do. Hmm. I still find this new, Thomas and Friends and the Muppets. New? I still find this old. Da! <laughs> Statler, Waldorf, that's enough. You're causing confusion and delay by making fun of this show. 
Sorry, Sir Topham. Yeah, sorry. We forgot you were the controller of the railway. That's all right. Duh. <laughs> Thank you so much for for telling Statler and Waldar to behave, Sir Topham, sir. No problem, Kermit. My engines are always causing confusion and delay, and I think it's Statler and Waldar who's causing confusion and delay. Of course, they're always causing confusion and delay. They've caused a lot of confusion and delay on the original Muppet Show. Hey, why are all the engines still on stage? Because it's time for Thomas, you're the later number. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, good gee, I can't believe I forgot. Hey, uh, Kermit? Uh, yes, Fozzie? Uh, who's singing the Thomas, you're the leader song again? Uh, Walter and Robin. And Miss Piggy, you, me, Scooter, Summer. Everyone's singing it. Oh, well... Isn't Walter and Robin going to introduce the number? Yeah. Well, there they go. Uh, Sir Topham. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, Kermit. <laughs> I'm sir. <laughs> uh, Robin wanted to ask you, ask me to ask you a question. And he wants to know, is your real name Bertram? And do you have grandchildren named Bridget and Stephen? Tell Robin I said yes. I do have grandchildren named Bridget and Stephen. And I, my name is Bertram. Oh, well, okay. I'll tell Robin that. After this number. And I bet this is gonna be the right, this song's gonna be the right track. Get it? The right track? Cause Thomas is a train? Ah, waka waka! Ah! Oh, Fuzzy. Ta -da -na. My Uncle Kermit is letting me and Walter introduce this next number. But first, I wanna let you know how much I love watching Thomas and Friends. Thomas is the best talking train. He's a really useful engine and brave. And I watch Thomas and Friends with Robin every Saturday and days when he goes to school. Now, for this next number song, it's a song from the Thomas and Friends movie, The Great Discovery. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it available on YouTube. I mean, it's available on YouTube. But we're not going to talk more. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas the Tank Engine. Yay! It's Thomas. You're the leader. Okay, there are two, there are four, there are six, there are eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the useful crew. That's who? Oh, with different roles to play around Tidmouth Sheds and far away. Now the Muppets are joining this friendly pack, but who's this coming down the track? Thomas, he's my number one. Shining in the morning sun. Working hard, but having fun. Thomas, you're the leader. Thomas, you're the leader. Now, Thomas has so many friends. The list is long, it never ends. James and Percy, Huff and Puff. And Emily, she knows her stuff. Henry, Edward, what a pair. And Toby, like I say, he's square. Gordon thunders down the line. Everyone's a friend of mine. Come on! Thomas, he's my number one. Shining in the morning sun. 
working hard but having fun. Thomas, you're the leader. Thomas, you're the leader. Sir Topham Hack, who keeps an eye on every engine passing by. Everything is taking a boof because I'm in front because you know who. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Thomas, he's my number one. Shining in the morning sun. Working hard but having fun. Thomas, you're the leader. Thomas, you're the leader. Thomas, he's my number one. Shining in the morning sun. Working hard but having fun. Thomas, you're the leader. Thomas, you're the leader. French's Jor and Daily Nightmare. This is scarcely raise your neck hairs. If you think this is too cabra, follow the candle, holding candle opera. I believe it was a beauty. We'll never rest, we'll never cease, till you finally rest in peace. First, you must sleep down with the fishes. Like rain and thunder. Trick or treat. You're all alone, but don't be scared. We've got your wake all pre prepared. Beep. Filled with poison sassafras. It was Gonzo's final curtain call.
We can meet you at the station, take you to a celebration, party time, we're sure to have some fun. Blow those whistles, start the singing, all those presents we'll be bringing, now it's party time for everyone. It's party, party time, shake and rattle down the line, fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes. Say the words, that's all it takes. Spread the word and say it's fine to come along. There's always time to have a party when the work is done. Everyone must hear about it. Blow your whistle, sing and shout it. Party time is here for everyone. It's party, party time. Shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes. Say the word, that's all it takes. It's party, party time. Shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes. Say the word, that's all it takes. It's party, party time. Shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes. Say the words, that's all it takes. Spread the word and say it's fine to come along. There's always time to have a party when the work is done. Everyone must hear about it. Blow your whistle, sing and shout it. Party now is... Party time is here for everyone. It's party, party time. Shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes, say the words, that's all it takes. It's party, party time, shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes, say the words, that's all it takes. It's party, party time, shake and rattle down the line. Fireworks, picnics, birthday cakes, say the words, that's all it takes. You know, maybe I sh we should have our own party. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a leaving party. Leaving the show, that is. <laughs> and then we drove off a cliff and, and landed with a few thuds. Oh, really? Actually, with a few bumps, not thuds. All right. Scooter, what's up next? Well, I have good news and... Well, actually, I have... It's all bad news. Well, what's the bad news? The bad news is the next song supposed to be up is the... Rhyming song. You mean... Yes. The same rhyming song we sang with Diane Cannon passed away in September last month, this year. Rest in peace to Diane Cannon. 
No, wait. Uh, Scooter, that wasn't Diane Cannon. It wasn't? No, it was Loretta Lynn. Oh. Well, rest in peace, Loretta Lynn, who died last month. And the same rhyming song we sang in the Muppets, the Great Muppet Adventure movie we did over the summer. Well, what's up after that? The Thomas We Love You song. But we'll have to go with it. Everyone on stage for the rhyming song. But I don't like that song. Yeah, me neither. Well, sorry, Annie Sue and Link Hogthrob, but we have to do it. Oh, sure. Force me and ignore me. Make me do it. Okay. Okay, uh, Scooter, first it's me, then you, then Annie Sue, and Link Hogthrob. Uh, I already know that, Fozzie. Okay, uh, Kermit, can you? Already on it, Fozzie. Oh, boy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the rhyming song. Let's all sing the rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. Let's take turns and rhyme together, the rhyming song. I was hungry, now I'm not, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. Cause I ate some beans and grapes, the rhyming song. Let's all sing the rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. Let's take turns and rhyme together, the rhyming song. Let's all sing the rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. Let's take turns and rhyme together, the rhyming song. Link. The rhyming song, the rhyming song. The rhyming song. This is not the rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. I know it's not the rhyming song. The rhyming song. Ah, brother! The rhyming song, the rhyming song. Let's all jump up and down and wave our arms and get off the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song, the rhyming song. What are you doing? What are you told me to? What? You said it was. I thought. What are the lyrics? We lost them. Ah. Oh. Huh, the rhyming song, just like I remember it. To me, it's not how I remember it. No! It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Hip, 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 hooray! Chug a chug a chug 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 He rides along the way. And when you hear that whistle, it can only be one train. Our favorite little engine, Thomas is his name. Thomas the Tank Engine rolling along. All of his friends will be coming along. Thomas, we love you. He's a really useful engine with a heart that's big and strong. He chugga chugga chuff chuffs working hard, helping everyone. Thomas, he has lots of friends and you can be one too. Just clap, clap, clap and sing along. Thomas, we love you. Thomas the Tank Engine rolling along. All of his friends will be coming along. Thomas, we love you. There's Gordon and Henry, Edward, James and Toby, Annie and Clarabelle. Don't forget Percy. 
Terrence and Birdie, Diesel, Duck, and Daisy. Lots more friends for you. He's always up to mischief, that cheeky little train. He chugga chugga chug chugs everywhere. He's always playing games. The fat controller scolds him, but loves him just the same. Our favorite little engine, Thomas is his name. Thomas the tank engine rolling along. All of his friends will be coming along. Thomas, we love you. Thomas the Tank Engine rolling along. All of his friends will be coming along. Thomas, we love you. Thomas, we love you. Thomas, we love you. Hmm. Well, I would say something not nice about Thomas, but I can't because I don't want to hurt his feelings. Me neither. But we can hurt our feelings by saying how old we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, the audience seemed to like it, but why weren't they applying? Oh, uh, well, Thomas, the reason why there's no audience is because we're doing a a live broadcast. Since. So we're, everyone's watching us on TV. And that applause. Was just sound effects from Jake's computer. Oh. Well I think you were terrific Thomas. And so were your friends. Oh thank you T Kermit. You too Annie and Clarabelle. Oh thank you. Kermit, I always said I was a great singer. Don't show off, Annie and Clarabelle. Okay, Scooter, what's up next? All right, next thing is up is James's song, and then after that is Emily's song, then Walter and Robin, Fozzie, me, and Gonzo singing Try to Do Things Better, Teaching all the viewers out there what's the difference between steamy steam engines and diesel engines. And then after that, let me see is uh do 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 do, do. Uh, let me see uh He's a really useful engine. And then the last number, the closing number, rainbow connections. Oh wait, before Rainbow Connections, we have Fozzie's Jokes. Remember Kermit, that's the only act we were given by Jake. So no Gonzo stunts, no Muppet Labs learning, no Muppet history. Oh. All right, uh, Sir Topham, where's James? Oh, James, he likes to show off and make an entrance. He thinks he's the smart, he's the brightest red engine on Sodor. And here he comes. Here's Jake! Ugh, James, what did I tell you about minding your speed and not, and stop showing off? 
Huh, you do find your ways of making me feel embarrassed, James. Sorry, sir, I forgot. I'm just so excited to be on The Muppet Show. We all are, James. We all are. Uh, but can someone help me, please? I'm kind of stuck on my side. <laughs> James, I have to admit, you do look a little silly. Very silly. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> okay, Kermit, go introduce James. All right, sir. Toby, Percy, can you grab the breakdown train, please? And now, ladies and gentlemen, James the Splendid Red Engine. Yay! He's a really splendid engine. Everybody knows. But he does go on and on and on. Always telling us so. He is a splendid fellow, but he really is quite vain. Who do we name? You got it. James! Take a look, it's coming down the track. Make way for James. Hooray for James. Shiny, shiny paint with the check plaque stack. We make way for James. Hooray for James. What is it for certain? We should note. <laughs> Let's take a vote. He's a really splendid engine with a bright red coat. Hey, oh. He can brag all day how fast he goes, how good he looks. He's such a pose. But what about the time he got covered in mud? Oh, what a do, what a dirt. But up and down the line, you'll see the others say, despite the vanity, he really is okay. Dependable, reliable, and sometimes late. We all think James is great! Speeding down the line like a lightning flash, make way for James, hooray for James. Hang on to your hat as he wishes past. Make way for James, hooray for James. He really knows how to stage a show. You gotta stand back and watch him go. He's a really splendid engine with a bright red coat. Whoa! Look who's swanning it down the track. Make way for James. Hooray for James. He never looks up. He never looks back. Make way for James. Hooray for James. Attacks the needles and really quite vain. He knows we love him just the same. Take a look, he's coming down the track. Make way for James. Hooray for James. Shiny, shiny paint with the jet black stack. Make way for James. Hooray for James. He's the really splendid engine. Shiny, shiny engine. He's the really splendid engine. Yep, that's our James. That's James. There's no one quite like Emily. Friendly Emerald Emily. You don't need to ask her twice. When you want some sound advice, all those who know Emily, no one shows especially. She's got that certain you-know-what, there's no one quite like Emily. 
Sometimes she can't help herself and gets misunderstood. Things can sometimes turn out wrong, but all she meant was good. There's no one quite like Emily. Friendly Emerald Emily. You don't need to ask her twice when you want some sound advice. All those who know Emily, no one shows especially. She's got that certain you-know-what. There's no one quite like Emily. Clever, cheerful, confident. She really knows her stuff. She's the one to get things done while others huff and puff. There's no one quite like Emily. Friendly Emerald Emily. You don't need to ask her twice when you want some sound advice. All those who know Emily, no one shows especially. She's got that certain you-know-what. There's no one quite like Emily. Sometimes she can't help herself and gets misunderstood. Things can sometimes turn out wrong, but all she meant was good. There's no one quite like Emily. Friendly Emerald Emily. You don't need to ask her twice when you want some sound advice. All those who know Emily, no one shows especially. She's got that certain you-know-what. There's no one quite like Emily. There's no one quite like Emily. Friendly Emerald Emily. You don't need to ask her twice when you want some sound advice. All those who know Emily. No one shows especially. She's got that certain you-know-what. There's no one quite like Emily. Emily! 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 Animal like you, Emily! Aw, thank you, Animal. Animal! Likes you, Emily! You, Animal's favorite engine from Thomas and Friends! Okay, Animal. Get off Emily. Give, him, give her some space. Bye bye, Emily! Bye, Animal! Animal, heal! Come on! Kissy, kissy! Hey! That's Moi's line, Animal! Sorry! Cue the next number! Anything that diesels do, steamies know that they can too. Diesel, steamies, engines who try to do things better. They both have a different role. We need oil, we need coal. All of us have just one goal, try to do things better. Who can shunt the most trucks of bricks on trains that are much longer? Steamies may get up to tricks, but diesels are much stronger. Who has gleaming piston rods and paintwork bright and shining? Who can pull the longest train and still keep perfect timing? Anything that diesels do, steamies know that they can too. Diesel, steamies, engines who try to do things better. They both have a different role. We need oil, we need coal. All of us have just one goal. Try to do things better.
boo goes bumping into trucks, causing so much trouble. Who can lift those heavy loads and clear the line of rubble? Who can only honk their horns while steamies whistle loudly? Who's that streaming up the hill while Gordon streams by proudly? Anything that diesels do, steamies know that they can do. Diesel, steamies, engines who try to do things better. They both have a different role. We need oil, we need coal. All of us have just one goal, try to do things better. Who can shunt the most trucks of bricks on trains that are much longer? Steamies may get up to tricks, but diesels are much stronger. Who has gleaming piston rods and paintwork bright and shining? Who can pull the longest train and still keep perfect timing? Anything that diesels do, steamies know that they can too. Diesel, steamies, engines who try to do things better. They both have a different role. We need oil, we need coal. All of us have just one goal, try to do things better. All of us have just one goal, try to do things better. Wow. I've never been in a song before. Oh wait, yes I have. Next number, please. Everything is great. Everything is perfect. It's falling into place. I can't seem to wipe this smile off my face. Life's a happy song when there's someone by your side to sing along. Everything is great. We'll live happily ever after. Life's a happy song when there's someone by your side to sing along. We've got everything that we need. We can be whatever we want to be. Nothing we can't do. The skies are blue and it's me and you 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 and well, all of you. Yeah. La 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 We've got everything that we need We can be whatever we want to be Nothing we can't do The skies are blue and it's me and you and you and you Life's a happy song When there's someone by your side to sing Life's a happy song Life's a happy song when there's someone, someone, someone by your side to sing along! Is life really a happy song? No, it's a crappy song. Oh, great. Now they're going to play another song. He's a really useful engine, you know. All the other engines, they'll tell you so. He huffs and puffs and whistles. Rushing to and fro, he's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one, he's the one, 
He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. He's a really useful engine, you know. Cause the fat controller, he told him so. Now he's got a branch line to call his very own. He's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. Little blue train, he's always there whenever you need a hand. If you need help with the situation, who comes into mind? He's the one, he's the one. He's the really useful legend that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. He's a really useful engine, you know. Maybe little, but he's never slow. Stand back in amazement. Just you watch him go. He's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. He's the really useful engine. We adore! He's a really useful engine, you know. All the other engines, they'll tell you so. He huffs and puffs and whistles. Rushing to and fro, he's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. Ding. He's the really useful engine, you know. Cause the fat controller, he told him so. Now he's got a branch line to call his very own. He's a really useful engine, we adore. He's the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. Little Blue Train. He's always there whenever you need a hand. If you need help with a situation, who comes into mind? Ding, he's the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. Are we really useful? Yeah, we're really useful. How? We're really useful by making fun of the show. Duh! <laughs> you are a great singer out there, Toby. Aw, oh, thanks, Henrietta. 
Didn't Thomas have a lovely singing voice, Clarabelle? Oh, I could sing too, you know, Annie. Oh, I know. You still got big mouth. Okay, gang, we only have one last song to do. Which is Rainbow Connections. Oh, and af but after that, what well, we have, but that will have to wait because Fozzie has to do his jokes. Hey, Emily, you want to join Fozzie? Of course I, of course, Kermit. I'm going to make the audience laugh, Kermit. Be careful, Emily. A little advice. Fozzie tells bad jokes. Piggy. What? Sir, I am so sorry for Piggy's attitude. That's okay, Kermit. I better go introduce Fozzie and Emily. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for his only jokes telling on the island of Sodor here at Nafford Station, that funny furry man, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Yeah! Da -na 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 -na. Thank you, thank you, and thank you! Ah! Thank you, you are a great crowd out there. And, and I have a special guest joining us, I mean joining me, telling jokes is Emily the Emerald Green Engine! Ah! Let's all give Emily a big hand. All right, now here are some good jokes. Why did the window say ouch? Because it had a pain. Ah, waka waka. Ah! Now I'll tell Emily a joke. Hey, Emily, what do you call a train that goes crazy? Mm, I don't know, Fozzie. What do you call a train that call that goes crazy? A locomotive. Ah! Waka waka. Get it, locomotive? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now here's what I learned from Pepe. The King Piran. What do you get when you cross a rhino and an elephant? An elevino. Ah, wacka wacka. Ah, da -na 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 -na. I still don't find that bear funny. Me neither. He's bad at telling jokes. Stop! <laughs> hey! Sorry, we were just joking. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our closing number, Thomas and his friends are going to be joining us, and so is Sir Tom and Hat. And this is their first time singing Rainbow Connections. So all of you out there, if you know the words, feel free to sing along. And ignore the mean things what Statler and Waldorf said about Fozzie. They're just causing confusion and delay. Anyway... Feel free to sing along to Rainbow Connections out there, if, if any of you out there know the words. Here we go. Action! Why are there so many songs about rainbows? 
And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers. And me, la da da di da da do, la da 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 di da. Finally, we can go home, okay? Okay, so we've come to the end of our show, but before we go, let's thank all our very special guest stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends, and Sir Top of Hat! Cinders and Ashes, thank you for letting us be on The Muppet Show, Kermit. Me and all my friends really appreciate it. And so do I. It was an honor being on The Muppet Show, and I'm proud of all you engines for being on your best behavior. No confusion and no delay. And tomorrow we will... You will all get back to doing your jobs. Including you, James. <laughs> Well, we'll see you all next time on The Muppet Show. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Aw, Foo Foo likes you, Thomas. Uh, bye bye from Thomas the Tank Engine. Bye. Bye, bye, Statler. Bye, Waldorf. Bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Bye, kids out there. Bye.